Hello, girls. Hello, Nia. Yes, hello, Letty. Hello, hello Teresa. Hi. And hello, Annie. Now, oh. today we're going to do the Watch Chapter 1 vocabulary. So this will help some of our viewers uh, to understand the story a little bit more. So as usual, you will read the word, then the definition, and then try to give a sentence. And if you can't, I will help you. So Nia, can you start? Watchmaker. Sorry? The Watchmaker. Watch. I see. Can you see watchmaker Nia? Yeah, I, I just uh, I just see the watch chapter one. Right, and now we have the vocabulary on the screen. So read the first word. The first word. Can can you change your slide because I just see the watch chapter one. Me too, Miss. All right. You can't see the slide with vocabulary? No. Yes. Right, so what does it say? The watch I chapter see. one. The watch chapter one. Oh. So, let's, let's start again. Yeah. Uh, I'm sharing screen. Okay. And um, let me see. There's the watch. You can see the title, the watch. Yeah. Yes. And then I change it and it goes to vocabulary. Yes. Okay. And now you can see it. So we'll start again and see. Yes. I don't know what happened then. Doesn't matter. Okay. <sighs> Smile and the whole world will smile with you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hello, Nia. Hello, friends. Hello, Therese. Hi. Hello, Annie. Now, here we have the watch, chapter one vocabulary. So let's see if we can do the vocabulary for our viewers today from the chapter one. So Nia, can you see the first word? Yes, watchmaker, a person who makes watches. Ooh. You make watches. So is there a man in your village that fixes broken watches or maybe he makes them or maybe you don't have a watchmaker no so you look very bemused okay so a watchmaker is a person that takes all the pieces and puts them together to make a watch and maybe this really happened hundreds of years ago more than now now we just have someone that maybe fixes a watch when we break it. Right, Teres, the next one. Quiet, having or making little or no lo or no noise. Um, in class, I'm very quiet. So your teacher would be very grateful for that. Annie, next. Workshop. Workshop is a place where people build or repair things. My example would be, uh, my watch uh, didn't, didn't work well. I think it's broken already. So I have to repair and I will take it to the workshop. Right, so you have something which is broken. So you will take it to the workshop. I just thought about this word. I've heard it a lot more now uh, to do with education. So that when uh, some teachers get together to learn something, uh, they could all belong mm. to a workshop. So I've heard this expression in that sense as well. Right, Nia. Beach, 
an area of sand or stones at the edge of the sea. Uh -huh. Right, so be very careful with the pronunciation. Beach, because there is a very beach, beach. it's like long, because uh, there is another word which is not very nice, which is bitch. So if you don't <laughs> pronounce it very nicely, it's like an insult, right? Bitch. So beach, make it a long one or even listen to it a few times how to say it. Beach. Nia, your yeah. example. I, I, I like to visit a clean beach. Right, you like to visit the, a clean beach. Yesterday, yeah. I was at the beach. Teresa. Yeah. A stretch one's legs to move around, usually after being still for a time. Now, still here mm. means that you when haven't I'm moved. Sorry. Yeah. Um, when I'm studying, sometimes I take a walk around the house for stretch my legs. To stretch your legs. So sometimes when you've been studying for a long time, you get up, have a walk around the house to stretch your legs. And the word here on the screen still <clears throat> means no movement because it can have another meaning in another context. Annie, off you go. A uh, security guard, that means someone whose job is to keep a person or place or thing safe. Uh, for example, when I visited a place that's kind of off, beaten, off the beaten path, so I usually ask the security guard whether that place is safe or not. Right, so when you visit a place uh, far away, a bit of the beaten path, uh, you ask the security guard for his advice. Right, next, Nia. I, I don't know how to pronounce this word. Pirate. 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 Yeah. Pirate. A sailor who steals things from other ships at sea. Ah. Um. Um. My 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 mother, my mom, um, said that there are there were a lot of pirates in the sea. When? <laughs> a few years ago, I hope. Uh, the, because normally they yeah. uh, fight to steal things from one ship to another. Right, Therese? Particular. A special of a certain type or style. Mm. Nowadays, it's difficult to find... Um, a particular uh, fashion style. Everyone wears the same. Ah, everyone wears the same. Okay. So in your opinion, now it's uh, difficult to find a particular style. Right. Annie. Yeah. No, oh, string power and an unusual string or force. Oh my goodness, this is the hardest one. String power. Okay, unusual string. Mm. I think uh, when when someone having a trouble in 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 the in the forest, then uh, we have to ask for help for a kind of string power so to overcome this kind of weird situation right so okay. you need to ask for some magical strange power Hello? to come and help you oh my goodness. if I you have uh, problems in a forest so also superheroes have strange powers too Nia the next word 
legend. Legend, an old traditional story that is usually not true. Legend, legend, yeah. Legend, legend. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I, 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 I think, uh, do they have in Vietnam lots of legends? A lot of stories that grandmothers tell little children. They're like fairy tales, similar to fairy yes. tales. No? Uh, fairy tales, yeah. They're similar, not exactly yeah. the same. Fairy but tales they're so I imagine that in every country, uh, there are uh, many legends which are told by the older generations to the young children. Right, to rest, the next one. Yeah. Sand, very small grains of rock that are found on beaches and in deserts. There are a lot of different kinds of sand. You can find brown one or black one, and, and there are more. Right, so sand comes in different uh, colors depending where the beaches are. And as you said, you can have golden sand, black sand. Black sand, I think is volcano, maybe volcano uh, original. So, and um, it can be fine uh, grain. Right, Annie. Stout. Stout, stout <clears throat> means, sorry. Stout means round and heavy, usually overweight. Yeah, actually, I don't. I don't like to have a boyfriend like a stout man. Right, you wouldn't like to have a stout boyfriend. You prefer him no. to be fit. <laughs> right, Nia. Yeah. The next one, shout. Shout. Um. Shout to say something very loudly or to make a loud noise with your voice. Um, th there's no need to shout. I can hear you clearly. Very good. Therese, ignore. Ignore, to not pay attention to someone or something. Mm. Sometimes I like to ignore the whole world I live in my own one. Right. So sometimes you like to ignore everyone and live in your little bubble away from everything. Uh, Annie, About demand. Demand. Demand is meant to ask for something in a forceful way that shows you do not expect to be refused. But I think I would like to use in my uh, example. I don't know whether this works. So I learned English just for the sake of itself. I got any demand though. No, I didn't There understand. is no demand. So uh, there, there is, is the no demand, demand. That means there is no force. Yeah, demand yeah. could be, for example, mm -hmm. there is no demand for coconuts now. People don't want them. But yes. here, uh, it means, for example, Annie, I demand that you come tomorrow. It's very important, our meeting. Mm. Okay? So it's a forceful way of telling someone when you want something and you are not willing to oh, accept okay. a no. Uh, for example, I demand near to pay attention. And do the next word. Old fashioned, near. Yes. Old fashioned, not modern or fashionable. Um, I think I'm very old fashioned. In the way you dress? Yeah. Right. And Teresa? Yeah. Suspiciously with a feeling that you cannot trust or believe someone or something. When you know the truth about a situation, is 
uh, I find suspiciously to believe uh, someone's version, which is different. Right, so be careful because this is a, an adverb of modo. It tells you how you do it. So when um, you come to class and you don't look at me in my uh, to my eyes, uh, you are looking suspiciously, right? Or you act suspiciously. So it goes with the verb. So be careful what you just said then, okay? Okay. Right, accent, Annie. Accent, that means the way people from a particular area pronounce the words. Uh, as an example, um, it's good to listen to many different accents to improve your listening skill. Very true. So don't only listen to one accent, listen to many others. Okay, that will improve your listening skills. So thanks girls, there were a few little difficult words there to use. I think the most difficult one was suspiciously. Uh, so um, you need to use this with the verb. You can act suspiciously, speak suspiciously, or look suspiciously. So goodbye for now girls and see you again. Bye. Thank you. Bye.